Welcome back to Montana this morning. The time is 6.15. We're here with Jeff and Will from Zoo Montana, and they brought along a new little friend with them. Jeff, good morning. That is cute. What do we have here? This is little prickly Pete. Actually, his name is Spitzer. He's what we call a, um, he's actually an Algerian hedgehog. So Northern Africa is where they're from. And the neat thing about these guys is they're actually, uh, believe it or not, insectivores. So you see Will here. He is actually feeding them crickets this morning. So mm -hmm. insectivore meaning primarily bugs, insects, those types of things. It's just a cool word, too. It's just a cool word. Yeah. Insectivore, exactly. And, and I think, seem to think they like the uh, the crunchy outside, but, but Will says, <laughs> no, it's that creamy middle they like of those bugs. I, I don't know. All right. That stopped breakfast for a couple of people. <laughs> yeah, <that's> gross. <laughs> but what a cool little animal. And, you know, a lot of people see these guys in the pet trade. I do want to say that if you do have them as a pet, do your research. There's a lot of things that you really mm -hmm. need to learn about these guys before you bring them in their home. In fact, this little cutie here is actually an ex-pet. Somebody uh, oh. gave him up and, and brought him over to the zoo. But what a neat little animal. And obviously, you can see all those little spikes on them yes. and spines. And, you know, the cool thing is that those are actually called spikes, not quills, like a porcupine. Porcupines actually have quills. And in that shot right now, you see that, that blanket. See all those white things right there? That's actually yeah. porcupine quills. This is mm -hmm. from a porcupine that we had to rescue out of somebody's uh, oh, shed. Man. And obviously, this is what happens when a porcupine gets angry is it, it whips its body at you and gets those quills stuck wow. in your skin. Porcupine quill takes about 10 pounds of pressure to actually pull out of your skin. Wow. These guys here, all they simply do is they poke you and then they run away, but their, sp their spines stay in their body. Okay, and, and you have even bigger ones. Yeah, take a there. look at these. Have to feel this. These are actually, the ones in my hand oh. there, those are actually African porcupine quills. Uh, it's the Huge. largest porcupine in Holy the world. Cow. And you can imagine getting something like that lodged in your leg you're not going to be feeling real Ouch. good. So uh, these porcupines, very, very great self-defense mechanism, as do these hedgehogs. And what they'll do is they'll roll into the ball. So when they're mm -hmm. upset or something's scaring them, they'll roll in the ball, and then usually they, they of course, make, make a getaway. However, there are some animals out there that have learned how to eat these guys. Um, fox in particular, what they'll do, it's kind of gross, but they'll go to the bathroom on these guys. And these guys are like, what just happened? And then oh. they open up, think, yeah, disgusted. And then the fox goes in for the kill. Sad stuff. Interesting strategy. So you, you say that you had to get a porcupine out of someone's backyard, but will you guys find these in the wild in Montana? You will not. No, hedgehogs okay. are, are primarily, there's European, there's African versions. The African one's the one that's a little bit more common. Uh, but yeah, you're not gonna see these little guys in your backyard in Montana. If you do, call us, because it probably means somebody's uh, little little buddy got uh, got loose, and that's mm -hmm. not a good thing. Oh, you, you guys say, are. <laughs> I don't know if you could hear them. <laughs> Well, well, I was going to say, uh, if you hold him next to your beard, that's some good camouflage. That's true. He can get in there and get lost. He might find some <laughs> bugs in there, too. You never know. But that, I'm not sure what he's doing. There's a huffing see? sound they do. That's oh. kind of another self-defense mechanism, kind of letting us know, hey, wait a minute, you're, you're, I'm not real happy right now. And he's oh. brand new to us, so still getting used to being handled and being around people. All right. Well, we're going to have a chance to catch up with him again in just a little while here on The Morning Show. So stick around, guys. But for